Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Slayer. Of course, I am Chris Chaos here with your May Young Classic update. Now, as I record this, it is 1241 Central Time, uh, 1241 AM Central Time, and so it's 141 Eastern Time, which means that they've already taped their first, I think, four episodes. I think they were going to do four episodes tonight, four episodes tomorrow night. It is what it is. We'll find it out on the 28th. Now, First thing I have to say is, damn you WWE for taping this now and making us wait until then. Now, with that being said, I know that we don't have to wait. We can find out what's going to happen. I don't want spoilers. I don't like reading spoilers of anything. I want to watch it as it happens. I want to form an opinion as I'm watching it happen for the first time and not knowing anything else about what's going on. So I think it's a bullshit move to to make us wait, you know, six weeks for, I think it's six weeks, for, between now and then. Now, we do get the Bracketology special that uh, Core Graves is doing with Lita. I get it. And Lita, is, I'm sure, is going to do an amazing job with Jim Ross doing color commentary. And Medusa Michelli is going to be backstage interviewing. I love it. I can't wait. I don't want to wait. I just don't want to wait. Now, before I get into what the whole crust of this is about, I got to say that I got to give a big shout out to Mike Johnson of the PW Insider, pwinsider.com, because Mike keeps me on my toes. And just when I think I have everything figured out, Mike reminds me that I don't. And so, with that being said, I have, I owe this to Mike. Go to the PWInsider.com, sign up, get the Elite membership, and don't be a jabroni. And tell them Chaos sent you. You know what? I don't get anything, and you're not going to give me anything off, unfortunately, unless Mike wants to throw me a bone. And if he wants to, then maybe we'll do like, uh, if you use the promo code, I don't know, Chaos, maybe it'll get you something. For me, I don't get anything out of it. Maybe eventually other people will, Maybe if Mike wants to throw me a bone here and there, he can, and I will be grateful. But support the true journalist of professional wrestling who gives you actual news and not just rumors. He also gives you a whole bunch of other things, like his personal thoughts and opinions on things, kind of like I do. So go support Mike at MikePWInsider on uh, on Twitter. I think that's his Twitter handle. Anyway. Go support Mike and the website. Now, I'm very disheart disheartened to to learn that Mike had on the site, which I got, I got to throw a stone because, or throw a, not a stone, a flag. I got to I got to throw a flag. He had had released the names of 30, 33 names that were in Orlando. One of those names, uh, being Deanna Prazo. And she was not announced. They did the champion, the the parade of champions, go to their uh, to the WWE Facebook or go to dot com and, and watch it. It's very entertaining. Uh, it's very eye opening, and you'll you'll learn a little bit about everybody. Uh, what I did, and I'm very disappointed that Dion is not a part of this. I really am. Uh, and by the way, out of my list of 39, not counting the 10 that were already quote-unquote confirmed uh, confirmed by Mike Johnson who they were all in there not by WWE the uh, out of those 39 names that I gave a, you know a month ago five I think it was five weeks ago almost to the day the uh, there was only eight picked now I'm very happy about those eight I just wish there were more as a society, we always want more. We always want more. We don't always get more. But anyway, what I want to do is I want to go through the list really quick, as quick as I can, give a couple of thoughts on a couple of different things, a couple of different people, and then say, you know, adieu. Let's enjoy it when it finally gets released. Now, uh, first name, Dakota Kai, a.k.a. Evie. I don't like they changed her name, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh... Dakota now was one of my uh, names. I had eight, and that was the first one. 
Serena uh, Deep or Deb, either way you want to go. Because uh, she's known as Serena Deb, but I think her real name is Deeb, so it's Deep. Uh, Vanessa Bourne, a.k.a. Danielle uh, Camella. I don't know why they changed her name. That was her NXT name. Uh, Zai Lee, a.k.a. Zao Zia, or Zao Zai, whatever. I, forgive me. I, I don't know. Uh, Rachel Evers, who is, an, again, another one of mine, a.k.a. Rachel Ellering. I do know why she changed her name. It was her decision. Well, I don't know if it was her ultimate decision to change it, but... She selected the name Evers. There's a there's there's a story behind that, uh, and I don't want to spoil it. Maybe they'll talk about it in a video package or something before she wrestles her first match on the classic. Uh, Sage uh, Sage Beckett, aka Mary Kay, aka Rosie, uh, a lot of love. I got to give a lot of love to her because she lost. I think it was 130 pounds, and she looks phenomenal. So I got to give her big props for that. Kaylee Ray was my third that was that was picked, and she's actually Kaylee Ray, which is very phenomenal. Glad she got to keep her name. Uh, Tessa Blanchard, who was like my number two draft pick. Let's just be honest. Well, she wasn't my number two, but to me, she's number one in my heart. Uh, I'll get to my, my number one draft pick that I thought of uh, a little bit down the list, but I'm so glad that Tessa... Mother Effin Blanchard is in this. It's phenomenal. Tony Storm, look, go to uh, YouTube, pull up, stardom, watch her matches. You won't be disappointed. Uh, Marty Bell, who was another one of mine. Lacey Evans, Santana Garrett, again, another one of mine. Nicole Savoy, Aisha Raymond, Rena Gonzalez, a.k.a. Victoria Gonzalez, a.k.a. Uh, the daughter of Rudy Boy Gonzalez. The uh, the next name is Shayna Baszler, who, to me, has a lot to prove. Now, I did this with uh, CM Punk when he left wrestling and went to MMA. Now I'm doing the same thing to, uh, to Shayna from MMA to wrestling. I've got to hold them at a different uh, standard. So, to me, she has to, to show me a lot. And basically, what I want to see is heart and, and just accountability in the ring and just basic things like that but I have to see it before I really give my nod of approval uh, Piper Vixen aka Viper uh, Z uh, Zeta aka Julia Ho who was another signee that they got from uh, uh, China uh, Rhea Ripley uh, Kavita uh, Devi who was uh, trained by the great Kali in his school in India which is doing phenomenal as from what I heard, Sarah Logan, aka Crazy Mary Dobson, who I just absolutely love that she's here, uh, and I can I hope, and she signed an NXT contract, so she's I, I believe so she's in NXT, so I can't wait to see the matches that she has with like Ember Moon, and if she goes to NXT Riot, and then with uh, even Oscar. And Nikki Cross, I, I I can't wait. I, I I take my money now because I will be forking it over for that. Uh, Bianca Belair, who was Bianca Blair in NXT, I don't know why they changed her name. Abby Leith, uh, aka Kimberly, who I'm extremely pissed. This one hurt me more than Evie. This one really pisses me off that they changed her name. I don't like it. Maybe it was her idea. I don't know, but she got a she got a good pop from the crowd. So, you know, people know who she is. Candice LeRae, who was my number one draft pick. Uh, so she was on my list. And then Maya Yim, a.k.a. Jade, who was the, the last person on my list that was selected for this. I'm glad to see her there. Uh, Miranda Salinas, who was trained by Booker T. Renee Michelle Prince, uh, Princea Suhe, Su, Su, Suhe, something like that. I can't pronounce it. Mercedes Effing Martinez, who I absolutely love. Google her if you don't know who she is. If you don't know who she is, boot to the head for you. Uh, Jazzy uh, Gabert, again, another uh, stardom uh, wrestler. Go check out her work. I very much approve. Uh, Tanara Conti, who aka was ten, uh, Tanara uh, Mello. And then uh, Kari Sane, who was aka Kari Hojo. Now, with that being said, that's the list. 
Look, I can't be more happy. Well, actually, I could be a lot more happy. They could have just took all of the people that I wanted to see, really, and used them. But anyway, for what we got, I think it's going to be good. Now, what really sucks, again, is the fact that we have to wait until August the 28th to see this. I don't want any spoilers. Don't nobody be a dick and send me spoilers. I don't want to know. If I want to see a spoiler, I'll go look it out myself. I already had one match spoiled by accident because my I was still doing prep work an hour ago and I just happened to see something that I shouldn't have saw and I was just on uh, Wikipedia. It wasn't like I was on a wrestling website looking for something. I was looking at something on Wikipedia about somebody. I think I was looking at Kaylee Ray or something and it just happened... It was already there. Those people on Wikipedia are so fast. I hate them all. Um, but that's what we have. This is this is just what we're left with. I cannot wait to see this. Again, it sucks that we have to wait six weeks to see this. But maybe, just maybe, WWE will change their minds and they will release a little bit of this early. I think they did it right when they did the Cruiserweight Classic because of how big it was and I really wish they would do that with this now they still have time I mean they can go back and release it early which I really hope that they do I personally would have thought a finals at NXT TakeOver would have been a, a TakeOver Brooklyn uh, number 3 by the way would have been phenomenal but they're not going that route all's well that ends well anyway uh so, we just have this to look forward to. I can't wait to see it. I know a lot of you can't wait to see it as well. And, you know, we'll, we're going to be talking about it until we actually get to see it on the 28th of August. So, that's all I've got. I am officially exhausted from everything that's going on in my life. But I had to put out my thoughts on the Mae Young Classic. And I cannot wait to see how it goes again the 28th. So... With that being said, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment and then go over to uh, my Twitter page. Give a like there or give a follow there. Interact with me because I'm all the time looking for people to take my mind off of this thing we call life. With that being said, that's all I've got. Uh, thank you for watching and continue to spread the word about my channel if you enjoyed what you see. If you didn't, well... I guess you can suck it. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, that's all I got. Deuces. As always, chaos out.